guys, we're going to get started with using our hinges. We're going to put our two mirrors we got from Walmart together with these hinges that we also received at Walmart. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to place those hinges one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. Now to do this, the easiest way and the best way would be to use a screwdriver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place where I want my holes to go. Then I'm going to get those holes started by taking the screws and just screwing them in a little bit and taking them back out. I thought I was going to use my drill gun for this, but it's not a good idea when you're working with this mirror because you may break it. So we're just going to easily make the holes using our screws with our screwdriver. And again, it's just screwing it in and then screwing it back out. Okay, so now that we have our, our holes made using our screws, we're just going to go ahead and using our screwdriver, we're going to go ahead and screw those in. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. It's so great to have you here. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so and hit that notification bell to see new DIY tutorials. Okay, so now that we have all those done on the one mirror, we're going to add the second mirror. And all we're doing is placing that side by side. And we're going to do the same thing we did before, just using those screws to make the holes. And then we're going to go ahead and screw those in. And we're going to do that again at the top and the middle and at the bottom. Okay guys, so I'm going to add the top and the bottom shelving right now. And I've just cut those out by measuring from the top of the mirror. You want to go from the left to the right at the top to measure that. And then you want to measure from one mirror to the other mirror to get your front side of the mirror. And I'm just going to put that together using our glue gun. Now I will go over this with my Gorilla Glue. You can use whatever adhesive you have, E6000, just so we can make this as sturdy as possible. I also wanted to let you guys know I added mirrored reflective paper to that top shelf I wanted to do that to the bottom as well, but I ran out. But you guys can use any kind of contact paper you that, that you would like for your unit. And if you decide to go ahead and make this, I'd love to see you guys' designs.
So I have the bottom done. Now I'm going to work on the top. Now to hold my shelving, I'm going to use these gems, and you can find these gems at the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the top of the unit to the bottom of the unit to get the total amount, and then I'm going to divide it by three because I want to add two shelves to this unit. So I'm going to divide it by three. So whatever you get from your top to your bottom, you're going to divide that by three to add two shelves. Now that I have my measurements and I know where I'm going to put my shelves, now I'm going to go ahead and place my shelves. And my measurement came out to be about 15 and a quarter so I'm going to measure 15 and a quarter and then I'm going to make my marks and that's going to be where my shelf is going to be and then from that mark I'll mark again at 15 and a quarter and that will be where my second second shelf will be okay so now that I have everything measured now what I'm going to do and I have my marks now what I'm going to do is using my leveler I'm going to make sure that each point is level so that when I place my shelves they won't be falling or leaning so now that I have my marks I'm just gonna go ahead and take my gems and I'm going to go ahead and place those on those marks for the purposes of this video I'm going to be using my glue gun but I am definitely going to go over this again using my adhesive my stronger adhesive Okay, so we have our gems placed, and I noticed that I needed to go ahead and add an extra gem um, for the shelves to actually sit and be placed properly. And now you can see it's placed properly and flush. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my embellishments. So I'm going to be using this uh, mirror tile and also bling wrap to kind of cover some of the rough edges. I use my bling wrap and my mirror tiles to cover some of the rough edges on the shelves and also around uh, the unit. I also added a LED strip light in the back from five below. And here you can see that LED strip light that I picked up from um, five below. Uh, it's very nice. My suggestion would be to um, grab a, an 
light that has a battery that's battery operated this one is not it has to be hooked up to a USB cord so I would suggest one that's battery operated but this one is working well for me now I'll go ahead and use it and here it is guys all lit up and gorgeous as you can see I embellished a little bit more by adding those uh, photo display stands from the Dollar Tree using the clear ones I added some bling gems to those and added those to the top and the bottom I think it turned out absolutely beautiful let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification 